Shalom, and welcome to Simple Biblical Hebrew. I'm Eric Modal. And today we want to look at Psalm 12 and seek to answer the question from Scripture, why is all this chaos happening in the world today, all around us? Whether it's international chaos or whether it's chaos here in the United States, chaos in the school systems, the breakdowns of family, uh, corruption, and all of the rest, does the Bible have any answers? And certainly it does. And the, the answers that we will seek to give today are not exhaustive. But when we look at Psalm 12, Mizmor Yud Bet, the prophet David, a very long time ago, foretold this chaos. And certainly it's been happening ever since his time, to be sure, but never more so than in our times today. And so let's see what we can find from Psalm 12. He says, Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases to be, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. And we can see that that, that is one answer for why the chaos is happening in the world all around us. The godly man is ceasing to be, and the faithful are disappearing from the sons of men. Here we can see that text in Hebrew, and David prays, and it starts right here. This is help, Lord. Hoshia Adonai. So Hoshia really means to save in Hebrew. Yasha is to save. Our translators into English decided to put help, but it really would have been better to say, Save, O Lord. Hoshia Adonai. Ki gamal chasid. Gamar in Hebrew is, um, is the word for to come to an end or to cease. And then chasid is uh, one of the ways we would say, a righteous person, or in this case, a godly man. Chassid, it comes from the root chesed, chassad, and it's the loving kindness of the Lord. In the New Testament, it would be translated grace. So David prays, save, O Lord, for, for the, the godly people are coming to an end. They're not here anymore. They've passed on and gone to be with the Lord in heaven, and there's fewer of them here. Ki, that's four in, in Hebrew. Ki, fasu amunim mi bnei adam. Fasu is to disappear in Hebrew. It comes from pasas. So fasu, disappear. Amunim, amunim is another word that we would uh, use to describe God's people in the earth. In this case, it's faithful. It comes from the Hebrew word am, amen or aman. So amunim, those who say amen to God, the faithful. These are disappearing from the sons of men. Bene mi is from bene adam, from the sons of man. So there's one reason. Um, chaos is sort of let loose in the earth because there's less godly people here. There's less of the chesedim and the amunim in the earth. Surely there are many who follow after the God of Israel, and there are many who follow his son Yeshua, or Mashiach, but they're disappearing from among the sons of men. And as that happens, verse 8 is... Uh, the inevitable effect. And it says here in verse 8 at the end of the psalm, the wicked strut about on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men, David said. The wicked strut about on every side. They're able to come out into the open and not hide anymore when culture and society and governments and school systems and all of the rest exalt vileness. Um, there's less godly people in our culture, and there's more wicked people, and the wicked are able to come out and claim that their ways are normal, and they're, they don't have to hide anymore. 
like they used to. And we see that, uh, that verse here in the Hebrew. Saviv, Rashaim, Eat Halachon. So that is the wicked strut about on every side. Saviv in Hebrew is, is um, the word, uh, Saviv means to encircle or to go around. And then Rashaim is the wicked. That's the word for wicked. Rasha. Rashaim is plural. Eat Halachon. That is, they, they, they strut about. It's really the Hebrew word for to walk. Halach. Halach. So, it halachon is they, they strut about all around us, or they walk about all around us in freedom. They don't have to hide anymore. Kerum. Kerum is when exalted. Um, the cough is, is when. K. And then room, room is to exalt in Hebrew. And that vav has just been dropped out of the middle in this case. Kerum, when exalted, zulut. Zulut is um, vileness in Hebrew, worthlessness, zulut. It really comes from uh, uh, an earlier root, which means to be light, zalal. So the sons of men are exalting Zulut, Livne Adam, which is uh, among the sons of men. Bene is sons. We saw that earlier um, here. Bene Adam, the sons of men. And here it is again. Bene Adam, the sons of man, or the sons of men. So why is this chaos happening in the world? There's fewer and fewer godly people in the earth, although there are still many. And as the godly go on to be with the Lord, the God of Israel in heaven, the wicked are able to take over the institutions, take over the schools, the universities, government, and so on. And they're able to come out in the open and not hide. And they're able to say, you know, our ways are righteous when in fact they are wicked to the Most High, to Hashem. And they're able to come out and strut about on every side all around us without hiding because they, they are free to do it. And they exalt, instead of the Most High, El Elyon, they exalt Zalut, worthlessness, those things that are not weighty and heavy but are actually light and worthless to the Most High. Well, there are more reasons, but uh, that is uh, just a couple of reasons from Psalm 12 why chaos is prevailing in the earth today. May the Lord bless you from Zion, He who made heaven and earth, Shemeshua. In Jesus' name, Amen.